I'm Ruth, National Events Manager at Sue Rider Care. We're here tonight for the private view of Art Liberating Knives 2009. Tonight we have our private view, so we have about 400 guests coming to join us for wine and canapes. It's the first opportunity for anyone to see any of the artworks in the gallery, so it's a really exciting night. The primary objective really though is to sell as many artworks as possible. Art Liberating Knives stems from the fact that we use art within our care here at Sea Rider Care. So we've made a really big effort this year to get a piece from every single one of our care centres. So we've got a whole room dedicated to the works produced by people within our care. So they may be living with a condition such as cancer, multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease. So their achievements are amazing. There's about 50 artworks on display tonight. Also this year, we're delighted to be supported by some really well-known artists like Maggie Hamlin, Ken Howard, Jason Bowyer, Jane Corsellis. Um, we actually have 11 artists that provided pieces for our auction. They, along with all the other works in the gallery, are available to view and buy online. I'm Paul Woodward, I'm the Chief Executive of Sue Rider Care and absolutely delighted to welcome everybody here tonight for what is our fourth Art Liberating Lives. And it represents two things to us really. One is an expression of what we do within our care centres, uh, but secondly obviously it's a fundraising event as well and we've got some fantastic artists who are exhibiting here tonight and I hope that either during the course of this evening they'll buy paintings or they'll go onto the auction website uh, to, to help raise funds for what is, I think, a very worthy cause. <laughs> benefits of being in this are just, well, there's, there's lots of things, exposure, networking, being able to talk to other artists, and also to bring up the name of Sue Ryder. It's a brilliant, brilliant event. Oh, it's a huge benefit. It's the first time I've experienced this, and I've just found that being able to express myself through art with MS, because I have MS, I've had it for 20 years, and it's just been a hugely liberating experience, and that's why I entered this exhibition. I know about Sue Ryder in that it's palliative care, looking after people, and liberating their lives. But fantastic, fantastic exhibition and very pleased to be a part of it. It's brilliant. I came here last year and uh, I bought a picture and I'm in the market for buying another one tonight. Well, it's been a fantastic evening to have so many people come to, to see the exhibit. And, and I think really it just sort of speaks for itself that, you know, people want to come and see art, but they're also very happy to join in with Sue Ryder Care. I have no idea what the outcome is in terms of the auctions because they're going on all week, but I'm sure that this is going to be an immense success. Thank you very much.